Hi, I'm Ray McCormack. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. And today, we're going to do a, a standpipe stretch. We're going to stretch from the standpipe outlet to the fire apartment. One of the things that's going to happen during this stretch is that we're going to lay all our hose out in the hallway dry. We have the door closed. We're maintaining the integrity of the fire area so we can do a dry stretch. We're within the flow path once this door opens and our line is beyond the fire area. But that's okay because what this stretch is going to do for us is it's going to eliminate the need to pull line. We have all the hose we need right here. Once it's laid out, we can make entry rapidly. One of the things you'll notice is that we're using two different size hand lines. Now, a lot of places do that for their standpipe operations. The one thing that it does give us is the ability to leave rapidly. In other words, once you touch the smaller diameter hose and transition to the larger, you know automatically that you are on the way back to the standpipe outlet. So this different hose size actually makes us have a safer operation if we have to leave in a hurry. At this point, the firefighters are ready to move in. We're going to change this from an uncharged line to a charged line. They're going to bleed the line. They're going to make sure they can get entry. And once they do, this 50-foot piece of hose will be the only thing that moves, and the stretch is over, and it'll have a nice, clean entry into this fire area. The line is charged. The firefighters will bleed the line of any additional air and check their flow to make sure that they have a proper flow. You always want to check your flow before you make entry into the fire area. Firefighters advance in, checking to see if there's any fire. They'll advance to the fire room. What you just saw was a hose stretch within the flow path and beyond the fire area. When you do a stretch like this and you lay out the hose just the way we did here, it's going to make your fire attack that much easier that much smoother, and there's less chance of you running out of air. I'm Ray McCormick. Thank you for watching Training Minutes.